Hey guys, so I am working on a project that I want to deploy soon. And I'm trying to think of where I want to deploy it to. Right now I have it running on AWS, but I'm considering some other different options, cloud providers, and some different places to host it. And I'm trying to decide what the best thing is. And I kinda just wanna walk you guys through my thought process and how I'm trying to decide it. Cause I'm actually having a difficult time trying to decide where I want to put it. But before I discuss that, I want to talk about what the requirements that I need for my application. So here are the requirements that I need. There's four things. First is a place to store my database. I do want to do like a hosted database. Um, I don't want to have to um, actually, you know, install the database instance myself and uh, monitor the uptime and all that stuff. Like, uh, I want it to be in, uh, managed for me. So either with AWS or IBM, Rackspace, there's lots of different places where you can host, um, have your database be hosted for you. So I want that. And uh, I'll, I'm gonna be using a PostgreSQL database, so they need to be able to support that. The second, my application has images. Now I want to be able to store this in some kind of, uh, kind of like a block storage or S3, somewhere where I can store images. I don't want to pay for something expensive like Cloudinary, um, but some cheap storage option and uh, to store the images. And then I also have a Node.js server, uh, which I'd like to run and have that uh, basically run the server, host the server, and then also run uh, host static files for the React application in the front end. So host the front end, the back end for static files for the front end, and then Node.js application. So these are the four things that I want. So with that said, here are a few things that I'm considering. So the first is Vulture, um, also DigitalOcean, um, Azure, AWS, and then finally um, Google. Because Google just has their cloud platform now where you can host things. So basically I, and making sure each one has what I want and then find, figuring out which one is the cheapest and basically picking that way. Um, another thing that I really want is not to spend a lot of time on DevOps and spend a lot of time having to configure things and set things up. I'd like it to, for the most part, just work. So that is first off the one thing that I am less interested in about DigitalOcean or, for example, Vulture or any other VPS where basically they just give you a um, just a machine and you set everything up. Um, and this is one thing I didn't understand. Maybe you guys know Vulture looks strictly better than DigitalOcean just from a price comparison. If we look at the cost of what their machines are, Vulture just has a purely better prices. So I don't know if DigitalOcean is offering anything else, but I kind of just immediately. Um, crossed out digital ocean as an option just because vulture has it for cheaper so for example let's look at this ten dollar option we get one cpu um, two gigabytes of memory um, and then 40 gigabytes ssd compare that to the ten dollar option here here we only get one gigabyte um, of memory one cpu and 30 gigs ssd so the ssd and the cpu um, actually same cpu um, but double memory and then 10 more gigabytes of SSD. And then each one, Vulture is better, right? So we have double memory here and then 10 gigabytes more. And then each option it seemed to be better in. So I didn't understand why I would choose DigitalOcean over Vulture. Maybe they're offering some things um, different, but I wasn't just, I just from the first look at it, I kind of just like, hey, not gonna do DigitalOcean. I'm gonna pick Vulture over at any time. And then I pretty much was like, Vulture is very different than Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud. So I basically let Vulture set aside and I wanted to compare these three cloud providers and try to figure out which one of those I would pick and then compare that against Vulture. So when I was looking at this, um, the first thing I looked at is just the price of basically um, what I would host my Node.js server on, which is basically a virtual machine. 
Um, and then I'm looking at here is the pricing page for Azure. So here's the general purpose one. Um, but really, I want to basically run a web server, so I want to use the Compute Optimize because it says it's good for medium traffic web servers. So I want that over this. And we can just compare the prices. So here are 2 gigabytes of RAM and uh, 16 gigabytes of storage and one core um, is $0.05 cents an hour. And we can just compare this against Vulture. Um, Vulture eats this up. So um, we have $0.05 cents here. We have um, 0 0.007 cents. And we're getting more SSDs. Uh, same CPU and we can upgrade to this more right if we want to match the memory because the memory is two gigabytes um, but look at their one cent one and a half cent um, it just destroys Azure um, blows it out of the water but even if we compare the cloud providers Azure is not very good um, so here's the s3 we'll talk about the s3 in a second but for example here one CPU um, and two gigabytes is two cents um, per hour compared to the five cents for Azure. So right off the gate, they're losing, right? So I would pick AWS for my virtual machine over um, Azure. And then let's look at the block storage. Block storage, they actually um, do better in. So this is um, storing my images. So EC, EC2, this is, or not EC2, S3, there is 0.02, so 2 cents. Azure over here is 0.01. So maybe there's some hidden costs that I'm not aware of, because um, with all of these, that was the other thing that I was having a lot of difficulty with. There's a lot of different costs. It's hard to add up and directly compare them. But just using this basically the space price, Azure seems to beat it. So let's get rid of Azure for that. Um, but the EC2 is cheaper for this guy, um, for AWS. But S3 is more expensive than Azure's block storage. But one thing I don't know, uh, this is blob storage. There's also, I'm sure there's maybe static. I'm not sure if I can host static files like a website. For S3, I can. Like I can host my um, S3. I can store my React application on that and serve stuff. So I'm not sure if that's the same with this, but either way, I can store my images here. So that's nice. And so I haven't mentioned uh, Google. So let's talk about Google real quick. This is something that uh, I was pretty confused about. So maybe you guys know more about this than I do. But I was looking at um, one option is the at what's called the app engine. So it costs five cents an hour, and that's for the B1 class. So that's let's look at what their B1 gives us. That gives us uh, 128 memory limit, and the CPU limit is 600 MHz. Didn't really know how to compare the CPU here compared to how many CPUs like an EC2 instance gives us, but that's really expensive. Um, Five cents compared to um, 0.005 cents, so this is ten times uh, less expensive. Um, comparing same memory, right? Because it's half a thing of memory. Oh, it's even less memory. It's even worse if we compare this. What is this? B4. B4 is twenty cents. That way we get the same gigs of memory as this EC2 instance right here. So I don't know, maybe this EC2 is a lot less powerful, but it looks like the memory is the same. I don't know how to compare the CPU, but that surprised me. App Engine was really expensive. So I was like, all right, that's definitely not an option. So then I also looked at, we'll close this, um, what's called a compute, Google's Compute Engine. So I was checking that out. This looks like um, more, like for example, Azure had the Compute Optimized, this looks similar to that. Um, and this price was a lot more comparable. Still, it was more. So for example, one CPU, 3.7 is almost five cents. So let's take a look. One CPU, four, and we can't even, we can't even find one that's the same, right? But we can find a two CPU. 
So we're getting double the CPU, same memory, and it's less. So that was one thing, but then I was like, all right, let's go up one, 7.5. We can compare that against the eight. This is nine cents. Um, this is just a little bit, tad bit more, but we get a tad bit less memory too. So I was thinking, wow, AWS looks strictly better here as well, right? But here's a quick little catch that I just did not even consider. They give you, um, basically, I plug this into just their calculator. They give you this called sustained use discount. So what this means is, um, I think, does it say when I hover, if you use their thing for 30, um, okay, here it is, 25% of the month. If you use it for more than 25% of the month, the EC, or basically, the virtual machine, you get a 30% off. So that, what that turned off to be is I just plugged in one month of the N1 standard. So if we plug in N1 standard, and I guess N2 standard's more comparable, but I just did the N1 standard, which gives you one CPU and a RAM of 3.7, um, and that costs $24 a month. Because this 30% off brought it down much lower. Whereas EC2, this guy's costing $34. So if I look at this, um, this is the two CPU for memory. So we are getting more CPU and more memory here, but if I notch it down to the large, it's almost the exact same. We can see how much that would cost. So here I'd be t paying $70 a month. Um, and here, if I bring that there, we can just, we have one instance we can add this over and see what our estimate would be. So $72 and we can close this. So now just looking at this, because of this 30% off, we're getting insane discount. This is only $48 where this is 68. So we're paying $20 more a month with AWS if we were to just compare these. So that was something that kind of like swung um, and changed how I looked at this. Um, so I almost was thinking, man, Compute Engine looks better than this EC2 instances for price. Um, so I was like, all right, maybe AWS is not something I want to do at all. Maybe Google's the best way to go. So I was like, all right, forget about those. Um, let's use Compute Engine. Um, and Google has its own storage, um, but it is more expensive than Azure's. Azure's is 0.08. And this guy is 0.026. So there is something to be said about keeping everything at the same place. But what I could do is I could run Google for the compute, put Azure for the storage to store my images. But Vulture over here is still the cheapest. It still beats Google um, for pricing. like. We can see how much it is hourly. Here's hourly rates. Let's find a comparable machine. So two is eight gigabytes of memory. Two with eight gigas. Oh, we get four. And that's six cents. So this is nine cents. Four is 16. We just get more CPU power with this. As you can see, you're getting way more stuff with this. So if we even compare the, uh, let's compare these two. So Preemptive price is something else, it'll die. Price is, uh, preemptive is when, it, if you just have a short-lived virtual machine, whereas this is the price it would be to last for a while, so that's why I'm looking at this price. But this is 19 cents for four CPUs, 15 gigabytes of memory. We can see we get six CPU and 16 gigabytes for 11 cents. So we're paying less and getting more CPUs so that's really good. So the one thing that's keeping me away from, there's two things really that I dislike about Vulture. Um, the first is I actually have to do all the setup of setting up Nginx and my Node.js application and if it fails, I have to do more things. So that's one thing I dislike. But the thing that's even more I don't like is 
I'm getting a lot of 200 gigabytes of SSD. So what I could do is I could actually store images on this, um, basically this instance. And uh, the one thing I don't like about that though is what happens if I want to replicate my instance? Then I have to either like copy my pictures across two, and I don't really like that. So that's the one thing why I like storing my images in a separate than my actual container for my Node.js application. So my Node.js application would live here, but I have all this extra wasted storage here. So I would have to use S3 too um, to get this set up. So I'm trying to decide, or S3 or Azure Black Block Storage, whatever I decide on, I'm trying to decide on between Vulture and that, whether it's worth it. Because I could just store my images in the 200 gigabytes they give me, um, which is probably what I'll end up doing, especially at first, because 200 gigabytes is a lot. It'll store a lot of images, and we just won't have, you know, this pro like the user base won't grow fast enough. Um, and like, I'll be able to handle a lot of users with Vulture, is what I'm thinking, um, before I need to migrate to something else. But if I store all my images on, for example, Vulture, there's two things, like I was saying with replicating. If I have my Node.js application and I'd like to have two machines run it, I would then have to have like a central location the images are stored, or store the images in both places. And that's not great, because if we're on two machines, we'll need to somehow you know sync it up. The second thing is it could slow down the server, because now I'm serving the images from the server. Instead of having S3 handle the images, I now have to handle the images, um, my Node.js server. So that could take CPU and memory away. I'm not sure how much of a dent it'll do, but that's something I need to test out. So I'm basically kind of weighing my options. If I did not have to serve images, I would pretty much go for Vulture right off the bat. And by the way, none of this is talking about where I'm storing my database. That I still have no idea. I haven't looked too much into where I'm storing my database yet. I need to decide on that in a little bit. Um, but I could store that in a number of different places. This is mainly just talking about where to store my Node.js server and then also my images, which is the big deal. So I'm leaning towards Vulture, but I'm also not at the same time, but I don't know where else I'd wanna go because it's pretty expensive to choose the other providers too. Um, Google Cloud Compute is not as much. That seemed to be the cheapest for getting the compute because I can get a discount on it. Um, but the images thing, storing that in a different, I really, I really don't want to have serving the images from my Node.js application. I just feel like that'll slow it down a ton. Having in like S3 or something else is really nice block storage as an Azure. And actually they have block storage here at Vulture as well that I could do. Um, it just costs a lot. Um, it's 10, 10 cents a gigabyte. Whereas this is one cent, almost two cents a gigabyte. So much better deal. So that's what I'm kind of considering. There's a lot of different choices, a lot of different things to consider, and I honestly could be thinking about this in a totally wrong way. I'm kind of just gonna try something, whatever is pretty much easiest on me, see how much it costs, and then see if I would move to other places if it would be cheaper, because it's a lot of hassle trying to evaluate all these different cloud platforms and pick and handle all these things. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna go but that's my thoughts right now. Thanks for watching, guys. That's it for this video.